Well, welcome back, my friends, to another rousing rendition of Choir Boys Cutlery Outdoors, a K-H-H-I Scourge rendition, if you will. Hey, before we get too far in, 22 veterans a day in this country take their own lives. Vets, I love you. You have a place here. We back to blue over here. We support Leo. How do we do that scab? Well, we don't break the damn law. And finally, if you are an addict, never quit quitting. So this is the scourge by the Kakri House in Nepal. It is wicked, wicked sharp. Let me just say this up front. I want to thank Joe personally for being here. He shot this. There's a dramatic difference in the uh, quality of the videos. And Joe brought this for me to uh, uh, review, demonstrate, however you want to say it. So, Joe, thank you, man. This, this was awesome. Now, listen, there's some good jimping on the back. Let's cover just a few quick things on this. That's the head buster. Thank you, Scab. Quick things that I want to go over with you on the knife. The blade material is 52,100. The blade thickness is 7 to 8 millimeters. Now, remember, these are handcrafted, so that the thickness is going to vary. Uh, the the um, full tang, semi-convex uh, on the edge grinding. The Rockwell hardness is 55 to 57. Now, let me, let me say this. This is the Scourge. It's the Apocalypse. It is a full tang type deal. It's got a beautiful, beautiful leather sheath. The swedge on this thing now, and here's, some, here's, just, here's where Joe comes in, just beautifully done. The, the swedge on this thing is sharpened. Now, it's not razor sharp, but it is enough that if you ain't paying attention, it'll get you. It has a forward cant, just, just like a Kukri does. Great control, good finger guard there, uh, a little uh, choil. Now, here we're doing a little bit of prep work, getting ready. We're going to do the zip tie test in a few, just putting a little B-roll in here. Let me say this about the Scourge. It is a highly, highly functional kukri now right here now the other thing is this joe's already tested this okay so this thing's been put put through the test so i was really really impressed with the overall sharpness that it come to me in uh it, really sharp i'd say a good solid eight now for a kukri here we're doing the donnie b all day drop test the donnie b all day throw it at the stump test and this is the part where we always want you to, to, to go subscribe to D-Bad. He is marching to 10,000. Let's get him there. <clears throat> the one thing I'll say, I'm going to say several things, but one of the things that really stuck out to me about this Kukri, it's very, very well balanced. Now, we're doing the John Peter stab test where we just stab uh, the sidewall of a tire. Great stabber in that sharpened swedge, definitely definitely helps it out there i think we cleanly got i think we cleanly got three uh three pieces all together almost got four didn't make it but i tell you what this thing right here is a hard hard charger really good with control now down and now now you're going to see all kind of different tests here's just a little chopping a little warm up for the contest we got coming remember guys Go to Blade Talk with Scab and Joe. There's going to be a chopping competition there. Uh, go check that out. And please subscribe while you're over there. Now, right here, I, I, I want to address this because there was a little bit of deflection the other day on a video, and you'll see a little bit of deflection in this video. Guys, in 99.9% .9 of my videos, you're going to see deflection. It's not anything to do with the handle. It's simply my hands i'm just being 100 percent honest with you uh they're they're time they're old and they're beat up and they're just certain times man that they just you know but right here what you see is that is that kukri just taking massive monster bites there and you'll see right here with my swing i don't bring it back over my head i don't slam it down i do quick sharp uh hacks whatever you want to call it but i was able to keep it in control and again monster bites right here monster bites i love a kukri a kukri is really it's made for a lot of things but but chopping is in its wheelhouse and right there man you've seen it just kind of glide through absolutely zero problem and again no edge damage i want to point that out it's a 55 to 57 rockwell hardness 
I want to point out on this Kukri from Nepal, from the Kukri house, there's no edge damage. Doing a little batoning. Now, let me, let me say this too. Over the past few weeks, months, whatever, we got into a little more of the bushcrafting type stuff. I can see where batoning is definitely, I won't say needed, but it is a nice luxury. It, it helps. Uh, I like doing it. Yes, I could chop all that down, but just for some good fine work, it worked out well. And right here, I want y'all to pay attention right here, the bites this Kukri actually took. Now, some people say, oh, you can't use a uh, Kukri to bushcraft. Well, I challenge that. Go watch Blackie Thomas. He carries one every day and does it quite well. And right here, what you see is just look at them curly cues. Look at the bite that this thing pulls. Just the full length, and I did that on purpose, full length of the edge right there at all of it. Just really well sharpened, well balanced, well designed Kukri. The the one thing I will say, that skull buster on it, it created just a hair of a hot spot on my hands. But again, again, that's just a personal thing. I don't think Joe has any problem with it. Here we're just shaving a little handle on a stick for you know no other reason than to show you in this video. No problem. Right here again, it doesn't have a choil like a a, a big choil. Um, it does have some nice jimping on the back, but right here with just a regular control, you've seen it slicing. This is just some twine we had out there. Dude, no problem. I mean, none. Zero. Nil. Went straight through it just to get some of those little pieces to show you. Here's another one. And just bang through it, man. I mean, there was just nothing, nothing that this knife couldn't handle. I, for a Kukri, for any knife, really, I was overly impressed. Now, right here, we're testing out the tip a little bit. I had to do it a couple times. I did, but once we got it going, um, you see right there, good penetration and it cut, it wound up a little bit of a tug or a good bit of a tug. I think I went and back and did it again. Um, but once it got through there, man, no problem. And it's just a little test. I like to do That's that two inch, uh, toe strap. The tip on this thing is, is solid and it's secure. And you see right there, it was able to get through. And again, now in all fairness, I did have to uh, puncture it a couple times, but it, it really stood up good. And again, this thing has already been reviewed one time. It's got some use on it. No problem with it. Now, here's our zip tie test. Again, this, this puts a lot of stress on that edge. And you can see it glide right through here. Zero problem. Zero problem. And again, it, it's pretty well balanced, able to sling it in the old redwood there. And right here, guys... I wanted to show you the swedge. I almost made a massive mistake and grabbed that thing. And again, it's not razor sharp. With a little bit, a little bit of sharpening, a little bit of honing, I promise you that thing you could shave with. But I just wanted to show right here, if you need to use the back of it for some splitting, things like that, you are absolutely fine. There's the sheath. Beautiful, beautiful sheath. Um, the Cree House in Nepal, man. They do a jam up jobs, just beautiful leather. The uh, you see right there, the the knife fits in it perfectly. Now we went out in the woods. Joe had never been in any kind of swampy Florida territory, so we went out there, and I think he's got a special video for you guys. Now, guys, to my dear tree hugging friends, this is a hackberry. We were on our way out. The owner of the property asked if we could clear a little bit. That was absolutely perfect. We said no problem. So we cut this. This is the only thing uh, live tree-wise we cut down, and it's a hackberry. You can't do anything with it um, other than use it for Fort Scab Tongaroga, which is in the background there. I have to get back out there and get back to work on it. You see right here, I had a little more of a buoy-type swing, and I realized that. Um, but sometimes with this type of stuff, now you see I, I let the knife do the work there. Sometimes with, with, with testing and demoing things like that, I do go with more of a little more of a buoy type. Whereas if I was out there working with it, I'd use it more as a kukri, more as using the chop. Right here, you see I let it do its job a little bit better. I do the buoy style swing some simply to test the edge, test it, just smack it on there. You know what I'm saying? But right here, again, guys, zero problems, went straight through it. And that hackberry is a hard, a hard wood to cut. But right here, you just see it. And again, it takes monster bites. You see that wood flying. I hit Joe's camera about 14 times with it. Right there, went through in twain. 
zero problem. Right here, we're going to process this up a little bit. Uh, again, no problem whatsoever. Well, guys, listen, we've had a blast. There's a lot of videos coming your way. Uh, Mikey says it best, never give up, never surrender, and everything will be okay. And Mikey's true. There's a great look at that blade. I'm Scab. You're not. This is the Scourge from the Kakri House in Nepal. Awesome blade. I'm gone, son. Love y'all.